to be honest, CVs that I don't tend to read unless it kind of sticks out. So the, the best things that happen is like when someone reaches out to you directly, it's not just like an automated CV or automated email. It's kind of like when someone does a little bit of research about it. It doesn't have to be much. It can just literally just say like, you know, I've seen this case study on your website. It looks interesting. Um, and just, just something like that. So like you can, for, for me, I can just tell it's kind of individual that I want to work with straight away. So yeah. um, they kind of just have that initiative. For me, like initiative is one of the biggest parts of hiring someone mm. because you don't want to kind of be, although it's important to grow your staff and um, empower them to better themselves by, you know, teaching them things, but also showing initiative as well. That For me, that's a big thing. And the way that that can be shown is by, you know, having an impressive CV that's not just a, a piece of paper. There's something that's more like a portfolio, specific, especially for a creative role. So if you're mm. hiring for a social media managing role, um, you know, you should be able to present something in a creative format and, you know, in some professions, it's obviously got to be a bit more professional and, um, you know, like a black and white CV. Yeah. But especially I, I, I think that's a really important thing um, for a lot of people to hear, especially fresh graduates, because at the moment, it's 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 mental. Like everybody's losing their minds. <laughs> they're not getting the grades they want. They don't know if they're going to get into uni and stuff like that, right? Um, and it's from the sounds of it, you know, both the CV and kind of what education they got and stuff like that kind of goes in in the back end a bit, right? I'm exactly the same. Yeah. Like, show me initiative. Show me, show me something that makes you different. Show me that you're passionate about not just about what you do, but maybe about the company and stuff mm -hmm. like that, right? Uh, and why you'd be a, a good fit. And like a lot of my hires. The, I would not even look at your education unless it's kind of like very, very close and you're like, all right, what's the final separator? But I think that's very important for them to hear that it's not make or break, like if you don't go into uni or you don't have like great grades or anything like that. No, I mean like great grades aren't the be all and end all. Some industries they obviously are, um, you know, like law or um, mm. medicine, that kind of thing. But you know, for the creative industry, tech industry, it's more about what, what you can do because I know a lot of clever people that have got bad grades, but then they've got bad grades because they're working on side projects, that yeah. kind of thing. So it's more about what you do and how you carry yourself and that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, like not, not everyone needs to go to university and it's you know, important. Because important. Jack, I imagine that you thought that your university is going to be the decision maker. I mean, it? yeah, it's at, the, it's at the top of my CV. Um, yeah. The, 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 <laughs> degree that I got um, yeah. but I kind of, I think from my point of view um, and I'd kind of like to get your thought on this too but yeah. university isn't the, the deciding factor but if you hadn't have gone to university then you can't build those skills you can't start that side project mm -hmm. I think it's important in that way to give you freedom and I think on my CV it's the little bits that you picked out like the the social media work, the, the copywriting, the whatever. Well, to be fair, I picked out the fact that you were working while you were studying. Yeah. And I'll always be looking for whether you did an internship, a yeah. course, or something like that while you were studying. Yeah. That's what I would be looking for. Yeah, yeah. But did you start your, your company while at university? Yeah, while at university, yeah. So, I mean, like, it, it, we've been talking about a lot of basketball before, so I was playing a lot of basketball before university. And You're a pro, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. for Cheshire Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. so I, play, I played a year at Cheshire Phoenix in, in the British Basketball League, and then, um, yeah, like, the, the training was a lot there, training with, you know, a lot of Americans, and it was really hard training, but at the same time, it was a lot of good training and a lot of good mental um, strengthening as well. So I was, I was doing that for, like, a, pretty much, like, a year straight, training, like, four or five times a week that kind of thing um and then kind of got to university and there's like three three months where i kind of just had a missing void yeah. so like there's some like passion missing some like little drive that i needed to have you know to you know just to fuel me through life and stuff like that so um in around january time so it would have been like september to january it was a bit like lost and then from there, I picked up the business. I've always been interested in kind of business, but I've never knew really how to get Did started. you ever have like a nine to five job? 
No, I haven't. No, <laughs> so you don't even know what it's like, yeah. No, nah, so I'm, I'm pretty lucky in, in that aspect. But yeah, I started a university. When I, when I look at hiring people, it's important more, more important what you do at university rather yeah. than what you learn from university. University gives you a lot of tools to um, in, in, like in, improve your employability, yeah. but ultimately it's down to you and what you make out of it. People, I get... I, I can't really speak for everyone, but people that tend to struggle for jobs are people that didn't make the most out of the opportunities at university. Because, as like the more you look around while you're at university, the more opportunities you find. Like a lot of courses, you have to have like a compulsory um, placement, uh, like um, like a placement unit, um, not not like a placement year, but like a placement unit. So. Uh, you've got to make the most out of that. And then as much experience in university, that really helps w when employing. And, you know, I've hired people in the past who've like, um, been working on friends, clothing brands, that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, it's, it's more about what you do, like growing up um, at university. Like people, th people could be in a completely different career. Mm -hmm. So if you're um, working in banking, for example, and you wanted to work in social media marketing, but you know that you haven't got that background if you're working on some, someone else's project and then you want to use that as leverage to get to another job then. That, I find that, it fascinating that basically people are forced to make a decision what they're going to do for the rest of their lives when they're like 17, 18. Yeah. Like my wife is an architect, right? And basically from 18, I, I think it's like a six year course plus like a placement thing. Like by the time you're like 22, you might hate architecture. I'm not saying she does, but like, you know, it's it's ridiculous because I changed my mind so many times. Yeah. And like some of the, yeah, some of the like effort that you need to put in. And a lot of times you will see people work jobs they don't really like or want mm -hmm. solely because they kind of were, well, I put in the time and effort. I basically, I can't even go away from that.